Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Now, this is not planned at all. The whole sort of memento behind this clip is all about uh, the start of Christmas. It's all about uh, how kind of the mood sort of emotions and things can just be sprung upon you. Uh, throughout as we approach and go into December. And you know what? Uh, it's the 4th of December today. This is the earliest we have ever had or started to put our decorations up in our house for Christmas. Now, in my family, we go absolutely Christmas crazy, which I absolutely love. And I think I always will be. I absolutely love going huge for Christmas, going well over the top and absolutely everything. That means decoration. That means gifts even down to the wrapping, the selection of cards which you give people, uh, the foods, the, the drinks, you name it, Christmas crazy. But one thing which I wasn't really prepared for this year, and this is why I haven't had any planning or anything into this, was last, so it's a mixture of things really, it really, really is. And it, in, when I was when I was small, and when I say small, and um, younger as sort of a teenager or anything like that, or probably a bit younger, I remember my nan would say to me that Christmas brings joys and sorrows. And I used to think to myself back then that I didn't really understand that, really did not understand that. I thought Christmas is amazing all the time. And um, I'm absolutely blessed with the family I, I'm in. And um, But you know what? I truly could connect to that notion of what my nan used to tell me. Um, now, in my family, uh, the, it's, it is sometimes it can be it's a it's a difficult one and i think for anybody who's lost anyone over christmas it must be really 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 difficult and really really strange and a whole mixture of emotions because we all have those wonderful christmas memories but we also have things which may happen in december around the festive time which leaves a mark on our heart and leaves a mark on the festive time um, and when it approaches of course it brings yes the magic of christmas but it also brings all of those memories back as well now in january of this year we lost my alaskan malamut here in the background which you can see and his name was saber and he absolutely means the world to me and in, he was such an imprint in our family and they truly are a very lovable friend and a family member but a real true member of our family and we lost him on the 27th of january and he, within a two-week period he literally changed absolutely changed and everything was taken off of him to the point where when he left this world it was probably a blessing for him i still question that day um but do you know what this christmas was always going to be slightly difficult because he wasn't here anymore uh now we have an awful lot of decorations in our family home in our house it usually takes us about a week we have all different christmas trees all different sort of themes in each room and they're dressed very differently. It takes a long time. It's usually me and my mum what does all the sort of the decorating of the rooms and things and the lights and of course the stairway and everything's all, all dressed for Christmas and everything. So it takes a lot. It's enjoyable. And it's amazing and, and it takes a lot, but it's fantastic when everything's up and I love putting it up. There's nothing better than putting Christmas decorations up and having Christmas tunes going, perhaps a glass of mulled wine, that type of thing and the family all together. Amazing. Absolutely love that. And anybody who knows me knows that I'm all for family. But this year, now, we, a couple of days now, we've been starting to get the decorations down from our attic, our loft, whatever you want to call it. And where we have had real sort of, you, you kind of get yourself set into a pattern, don't you, where certain things go in certain places at Christmas. Now, of course, with Sab, and I always called him Sabadori or Sab, with him being around, it would be sort of almost set in a pattern that Christmas was coming, certain things would go into certain places as certain routines you follow. And you know what, when they started to come, when they started to all be brought down from our attic, which my, my dad does an amazing job and brings everything down and you would never believe how much we have, honestly. And, um, and I started to see certain things with me in the background of having some health problems, things going on and not being amazing health this time of year, which is difficult anyway, but I try to keep positive because of you have to. You absolutely have to. And I always say to myself that there is people worse off. And I'm not going to let it ruin my Christmas at all. And um, and that's why usually uh, we're in my room at the moment. I like to give a very smart backdrop. But at the moment, what you can see is all of my gifts in tissue paper. And if I turn this way, tissue paper, sort of boxes, that kind of thing. You can see different gifts. 
there and I put a lot of effort into this. This sort of box here you can see on the screen with a church on, this is actually a gift for my nan. So she has Alzheimer's and um, I, I am so, so close with her and I look after her and my mum. We're all very, very close. And um, I've got all different gifts and things for her. Here in the UK, we have a place called Marks and Spencers. I buy all my nan's clothes and things from there as gifts. And I've gone well over the top because you should spoil those around you, I always believe, at Christmas. And this, just to top things off, is sort of like a church. And it's got glitter and lights and things on. And anybody who has a relative with Alzheimer's knows that the, the sort of... The, it, it's great to have those sort of lights, the music, that sort of sensory, real something real to catch their sort of, um, real catch their eye and have that real sensory thing in front of them. It's just amazing. So I hope that that's going to be an amazing gift. And, um, but I slightly digress. So when the, de when our de decorations came down and it started to, uh, started to all take form, um, here in our family home, this year, it cannot be the same. It cannot be the same. So we have got different different decorations and things and all different things ordered and we're waiting for it to be delivered and things. And we always have a huge seven and a half uh, foot tree, absolutely huge, comes all the way out into the room, dressed absolutely huge, that much on the tree. Nothing is, uh, there's not a spare branch at all. But um, this year, when different trees come down, as I say, we have several trees. And when one of them came down, one of them actually stays up as a fixed tree. And it's a six foot tree. And um, I looked at it and I have um, memories from last year with Sabadori. And the tree came over. Um, this was close to Christmas and the tree came over and I went to grab it. And he was asleep. And I think he thought I was going to grab him. And playfully, he grabbed hold of my arm. And um, it was <sighs> mixed emotions. And when I seen this tree and I, I, I had a bit of a day yesterday and I think Christmas can bring like what my nan used to say years a year, years ago and I still am blessed and treasured to still have her um but she always used to say that Christmas would bring joys and sorrows and I truly do feel that because even though that it's going to be amazing this year I haven't got Sabadori this year and um you know I just looked at that tree and I could just feel everything just sort of knocked me for six in that seconds that eventually I seen this tree coming down our staircase I could just feel that a subs wasn't going to be here this year and I could just feel that that real void that real missing sort of in our family and um, I just seen it and do you know what I'm 27 I'm a 27 year old man and do you know what I absolutely stood and I just went away and I just absolutely sobbed I absolutely sobbed and I didn't let anybody see me and um oh with problems and things going on in the background, honestly, um, it's getting me now. And I've seen his picture there and um, just not being there. <sighs> mm. <sighs> Naff and rubbish, isn't it? And um, But the most comforting fact, you know, what always gets me through is um, I found this Christmas song. I found this Christmas song and um, it's for whoever has lost someone special or something special in their life. And um, they take comfort from the fact that um, the only gift is knowing that you're with uh, that you're with this you're with the Son of God and you're in this special place. And do you know that I truly take comfort from that. But do you know what I, I pray most evenings, and um, I always say I always say to the Lord I said and, and if somebody is there please please make sure he's comfortable and please make sure that he's loved and um yeah it's difficult it's really difficult and what makes it more difficult in our family as well is that we lost my grandfather on the 16th of December and I was only one so of course I don't remember anything about it at all but I see the effect on um on my mum as it was her father and uh, it's always it's always strange and I always feel upset that I don't have those memories that I'm, I'm fortunate enough hugely fortunate absolutely blessed to have all these wonderful memories with my nan who i'm so so close with and that was her husband and she nursed and looked after him and he died of cancer and so close to christmas so that is always over our family at christmas but um yeah christmas can certainly bring joys and sorrows and you know what I'm, I'm actually feeling upset doing this, but um I, this was not planned this wasn't planned to go on my channel at all but i thought to myself god you know what, there must be so many people out there, and my heart goes out to you, because Christmas does bring so many emotions, Christmas is such a magical and happy time, but it also has such raw emotion to it, doesn't it, as well, it really does, um, in core, boy, this year, I'm really, 
uh, really knocked me for six the last couple of days, I have to admit. And it's Friday evening here in the UK. And, um, but, cool. Yeah, yeah. And uh, really, really aches here. Really aches here. Especially when I see his picture in the background. Um, and he loved Christmas. Absolutely loved Christmas. And I would be buying him gifts and things on Christmas. He always used to have loads of presents and things. So, um, you can tell, can't you? It's been a real difficult sort of time lately. Um, I've not been feeling great sort of health-wise either, but let's keep this positive. Let's keep this positive because it is a happy time. And, uh, and yeah, absolutely. You can see all the gifts and things behind me. And this year, I've gone absolutely crazy over the top for family because if you can't for family at this one magical time of the year, when can you? Um, that's only a small amount of it, by the way, behind me. And there's loads more. But, um... Yeah, so our Christmas trees are going up. Our home takes an awful long time to get decorated for Christmas. Um, we have my myself and my eldest brother went out this afternoon and we got this fresh. I finished work and we went out and we bought this fresh Christmas tree because in our dining room, we used to have three Christmas trees, three very large Christmas trees, all in silver and white and all sorts of uh, glass ornaments and things like that and very glittery this year we've we've completely changed it we have got a real tree um right in front we have a very long table a long dining room table and it's in the corner so it will, it will just take the room off absolutely beautiful for christmas um but it's different because sabadori used to be very present in that room so um it's different because We've had those memories. We've had we've had that with him. So um, me and my parents, and we've all discussed it that it has to be different this year because we've kind of not moved on. Because I don't think I will ever move on. I don't think you can move on. But you are kind of forced into a different path of life. Um, and time can be cruel because uh, when you don't want things to move on, of course, the life and the world around us is still moving on. Um, which in a way is is good, and um, but these these fond characters in our lives, they don't go away, do they? They always stay there, and they become such a strong fixture in our lives. And I always say, just because Sabs isn't here in body, he's always here, and um, I like to think that he's always looking down on me, um, and he's there to talk to all the time, which I do all the time, and um, and not just that. Unfortunately, uh, my my aunt, my mum's sister, who um, absolutely loved Christmas, and um, is no longer with us. And in February, it will be ten years since we lost her to cancer. Um, we also have my uncle, my mum's brother, who passed away. Um, he's been gone uh, nine and a half years coming up too. And um, yeah, so we've had tragedy in this family, as I as I know that so many other people have. But I think this year, um, with all the horrific tragedies which we've heard of, with the COVID pandemic and one thing and another, I think this Christmas is going to be particularly difficult for a lot of people. Um, and my heart goes out to you, it really, really does. As I say, Christmas brings joys and sorrows, as my nan, bless her, would say. But I think the key to that is keep talking, be there for other people, pick that phone up, even if you can't be with your loved ones this year keep talking, hold a hand out, and if that's not in physical touch, theoretically or metaphorically, hold a hand out, pick that phone up, be there, if you know that it's going to be particularly difficult for someone. Help. Life is so precious, why wouldn't we want to help others? And you know what, I'm going to be doing that, so I'm going to be making, I do this every year to charities, but the Alzheimer's Society is huge to my heart, and the Alzheimer's Research Charity is as well, so I always do a Christmas donation to those, and this year I will be doing a donation to the Salvation Army to be able to help as well. Um, love charity, I'm always being told off for putting too much to charity, but I don't think you can ever do too much to charity. Um, and we will see what this season brings. But my goodness, it has brought a lot of emotion in the last couple of days, I have to admit. Um, but let's turn it around on a positive spin as well. There's so much happiness and magic this time of year as well. I mean, just looking at all these gifts and things as well and putting up our Christmas tree and everything today, or trees rather, um, is such a magical, positive time. And um, one thing I absolutely love to do this time of year is caroling and um, singing Christmas carols and things. I haven't got an amazing voice, but I do like to do that. So that will be coming up on my channel channel shortly as well. So if this is a very difficult and a very poignant time to you, which it is for so many of course, or if you're just feeling a little bit like that Christmas can all be a little bit too much um, with emotions and things with what's gone on this year, take a moment, relax, breathe, keep talking and 
just look around you because very often I'm guilty of doing it that there are people that want to help and there are people that want to care and, and to love and to talk to you and to be there. Sometimes we just miss it and sometimes we've got to really raise our head up, through it, metaphorically and speaking, and we've just got to accept that as well, that there are people around us. Okay, thank you very much indeed for watching uh, my clip. Thank you very much for sharing this time with me. Um, as you can tell, there's a lot of emotion going on here with this, um, but I just wanted to show you as well how well my gifts and things are coming on and, and how busy this time of year is and lots going on, lots of magic, lots of emotion, lots of happiness and love, but of course that sorrow as well. Um, and my heart goes out to you if you're feeling that, it really, really does. Okay, thank you very, very much for sharing this with me. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.